Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf, and uh, welcome to our indoor facility here at the Richmond Hill Golf Club headquarters. And today, I know many of you are looking for lag. I, I know, you know, you see the slow motion videos that, with the pros on TV, and many of you don't realize that to get good lag, you need a very strong grip, much stronger than what you're used to. So the first thing we're gonna do, without even worrying about your grip, is we're gonna close the face significantly. I want you to feel that you're gonna close it at 45 degrees. Now, you're gonna take the club in your hands like this and you're gonna feel, wow, that's really weird. I have a lot more weight in my left hand. The club feels very differently balanced in my hands. No big deal. Your brain has never experienced that before and therefore it's not used to it, so we gotta give it a little bit of a new medicine, right? So you hold the club out here in front of you and you're going to do a little baseball acid test. So imagine you're hitting a ball over the pitcher's head. You get ready in your baseball position and you go ahead and you realize, whoa, wait a second, that club is no longer closed. It actually looks a little bit open. I still have access to the outfield though, don't I? So you see the bat is round. But when you put a club face in the mix, you're going, hey, this is really feels closed, but I don't wait for the ball and baseball to come in front of me and then have a swipe at it in front of me here. I'm going out to the field. I want to send the golf ball out to the target. So I'm going step and I'm going out to center field. So notice the hands come through first. That's where you get the lag. And then there's impact. Oh, I have access to the field. There's where the ball comes off the bat, and there is where you have the release of the anatomy. This is where peak speed of your swing is gonna be. Now, if you take a door frame, put a ball up against a door frame, close the face 45 degrees to that door frame. And it looks like, like right now, it's gonna ricochet off the door frame and back into your right leg. So be it. So I'm gonna play the door frame just slightly forward to center and I'm gonna try and hit a fade from this angle. So fade is forward, so the ball's forward to center or door frame forward to center. I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice backswing, fold and hinge, and now I wanna feel like I'm holding off the face to square it up. Now in order for me to hold off the face to square it up, I have to lag. So look at that. My hands are well forward of the door frame and my club face is now square. So now from here, if I try to bend the ball to the right, I will feel the need to lag. So now you get automatic lag. How about that? Without even trying. So this will work right out of the gate for you. So I take, get rid of that. Get rid of my lie board here. I'm gonna use an intermediate point right there. I'm gonna use that T. I'm gonna line up a little left of the T. I have my wet paint sign back to my keep out sign. So all I'm gonna do now, play the ball a little forward to center, close the face about 45 degrees, and now I'm gonna try and hold the ball right onto the left edge of that intermediate point, and I'm gonna try and bend it from this target to that target. So make sure you have a beginning and an end in your mind as to what you want the ball to do. So now you feel like, okay, I'm gonna to have to be here through impact. All of a sudden now you feel the need to have your hands much more in front. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so that felt the need to bring my hands forward. So we're going to do a little, uh, a little slow motion video for that uh, at the end there so you really get a chance to see how much lag I need to have in order to have that, that shot come off. Okay, so to resume, close the face. Do your baseball acid test. So if his face is too closed and you do your baseball acid test and it's still closed coming through, then you know it's too closed. So 45 degrees is a good angle. Yes, perfect. Pick a spot to go towards, wet paint to keep out, ball forward to center. Now try to keep the ball straight. So I'm gonna start off here. I see it's closed, do a little Return to impact. Hey, with the lag, it's back to square. So now go ahead and try to shape that nice fade shot. Yes, so now it feels like I have to hold that sucker off all the way through. 
and it felt like my lag was even deeper than it normally is. Have a look. 